Hello and welcome back to another bloody good vaping. So today kind of marks the first time that I'm going to be kind of getting into squonking stuff and reviewing a lot of squonking stuff. You know, if you watch my waffle on Friday, I told you that, I'd, you know, I'd spent the last few weeks or the last month or so getting sort of more involved in that sort of side of things, you know, joining groups, talking to modders, um, buying up stuff so I can actually show you guys. And what better way to start than with a, uh, a product from the Atty Smith Hellfire himself. So, yeah, I've got here the Hellfire Shadow. Now, the Hellfire Shadow is very, very reminiscent of the Hellfire Phantom, which I reviewed six months ago, I suppose, which I actually labelled sort of like the Rolex of box mods. It was very well made. It was beautiful to look at and just reeked of class, you know. And the Shadow is kind of like the Phantom squonking brother, as it were. You know, it retains all that sort of aesthetic look, that feel, the the, the sort of uh, the, the whole Phantom family idea of it, but with a squonking section on the back as well. Now, um, made of 304 grade stainless steel, the frame here with a beautiful brush finish. We've got that nice sort of mill look on the front where it's been milled to give that sort of watery effect when you move it. It's really, really nice indeed. The custom made switches that we saw on the Phantom are now on the Shadow. You know, um, we've got that Delrin body as well with those really nice sort of groove lines in them as well to give it a nice bit of grip. But on the back, we have a uh, squonking section and not just a regular squonking section either. And we'll get to that in a minute. You do have the option of choosing two balls on this as well we've got the die codes you can choose or the dna 75 so that depends on what your preference is whether you like more to use uh eScribe, you know get into that software to to really sort of um get the build how you want it to suit your atomizer to really fine tune it or the die codes which is pretty much the same idea but done on mod rather than off mod as well you know it's a bit more simplistic to use the dna 75 on the mod than it is the die codes but that's entirely your preference custom made 510 on this as well everything is made and built in-house but what stands out on this the most is the carrier system for the bottles. Now, we're used to with squonking um, having a little bottle in there with a, a tube that you have to sort of fit into the nozzle at the top to feed to your atomizer. Well, what has uh, Darren's done from, from Hellfire? He's actually built a system where the bottle is retained in this carrier, and I'll show you now. The bottle is inside here. We've got no tubes protruding out here, trying to fiddle to get into the top there. You know, you know what men are like trying to get things. Anyway, um, <laughs> it's inside here, so we've got none of them bottles coming out, which, you know, there's it, 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 a few benefits from that. Not only the fact that it's really cool as fuck, but also the fact that we've got no sort of leakage. We've got no sort of spillages of juice when we're pulling it in and out. There's nothing getting stuck. It's really, really as simple as sort of like, it's even more simple than, say, putting a battery in a mod. It's just a click there. We've got no locking. We've got nothing to twist or turn. It just fits in so incredibly well. The tolerances are so nice and tight on it that it just fits in and that ain't coming out. It's just really, really well done. You know, Del you can have an option as well. It comes standard with a stainless steel car a carrier like this, or you can opt for a Delrin one as well. And there's a couple of benefits for the Delrin one for me personally. The Delrin run gives it that really nice sort of all black look and also brings the weight down. Now, the mod is quite heavy. With the stainless steel carrier in, it weighs just over 300 grams. But with the Delwyn um, carrier in there, it weighs about 250. So you lose a good 50 grams on the weight. And it's actually quite a light little device without the stainless steel carrier, you know. So, yeah, I mean, all in all, it's just a fantastic looking device, as you would expect from Hellfire. But we also have now this really unique carrier system that I haven't seen on any other squonking devices or any other mods um, before or after so far. So, yeah. Now, before I get into any more details about this price, what I think about it, where to get it from, etc., 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 let's pop down to the table now. Let's have a little look at it up close, and then we'll come back and give it a bloody good vaping. Safe. So here we have the Hellfire Shadow from the Atty Smith stainless steel frame and uh, carrier as standard on this one with a Delrin body. Retains that nice line Delrin shape on this as well with the Atty Smith uh, beautifully engraved into the Delrin there itself. Height on these is 75.5 mil, the length is 57 mil and the width is 25 mil as well. We do have a custom made 510 on this with standard threading and a beautiful Hellfire logo engraved into the steel there. Nice brushed finish. It has retained that sort of really nice milling effect on the front there that we got with the Phantom. So it almost sort of uh, ripples in the light, which is really nice indeed. Those same custom switches that we had on the Phantom as well. Small, but very, very nice and clicky. Really easy to get to use. You know, they just protrude just enough for your fingers. So uh, not a problem there whatsoever. 
Now you can opt to for two different types of board on this one. You can have like this one here with the DNA 75, or you can opt for the die codes as well, just depending on your personal preference. Whether you want to use eScribe or whether you prefer to do all that sort of stuff on board the mod as you would with the die codes. Micro USB here for connecting to eScribe. So yep, everything you need to begin with. Now it does weigh quite a bit with the stainless steel carrier on this one. Um, with the stainless steel carrier, it weighs uh, just a fraction over 300 grams, uh, but with the Delrin carrier, it does drop down to 250, so a little bit lighter. And that's where the magic kind of happens on this with these carriers itself. They just click off like so, and there you go, nice and easy. And you can see how they click on, see where the grooves are made in there. They just fit really, really nice. Now I haven't got a bottle in the stainless steel one here, but I do have one in my Delrin carrier here. And we'll just have a little look how that works. Use those 8.5 mil super softs in this, just pull it out. Your bottle attaches to this top section here. There you go, tube in, twist that in. That then fits in to your carrier, which then just easily slides into your mod and off you go. I mean, it's a really, really nice, unique bit of kit. Works absolutely wonderfully. And uh, it does save you a lot of mess, a lot of uh, having to deal with tubes and things like that. So it really works uh, an absolute treat. I haven't seen it on any other mod um, before or after this one. So uh, yeah, it's good to know. Sorry, that's from my hands. But there you go. Yeah, I mean, not a great deal more you can say. I mean, it's a beautiful looking piece. As you can see, the fit and finish is absolutely superb. Um, the brush finish work on it is lovely. I mean, it is very reminiscent to the Phantom itself, just it's squonking the bigger brother. And uh, yeah, that carrier system is absolutely unique as well. I mean, uh, you can get the Delrin ones separately. It does come with the stainless steel ones. And, uh, you know, the quality of these is absolutely fantastic. How it fits in, slides in. Um, they don't drop out. You know, it's a really, really nice tight fit there as well. So it's a very, very cool bit of kit that works absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, there you go. There is your uh, Hellfire Shadow from the Atti Smith. So there you have the Hellfire Shadow. Absolutely gorgeous um, looking device. You know, it's... It is reminiscent of the Phantom, and I loved the Phantom. I thought the Phantom was a gorgeous piece, you know, and this is no different. It this retains that Phantom look. It's right in that Hellfire family, you know. Hellfire's no stranger to Squonking Mods either. You know, you have the Venom family, the Venom series, you know, that had been out a good couple of years, you know, with the, the, the mech devices, 18350, 500, and 650. But I believe this is his first regulated Squonker, and I really like the fact that he's taken that phantom look, taken that phantom aesthetic and used it for this design as well. Very popular look, very popular design. So, you know, it makes sense that he'd use this as the part of that phantom family. Um, you know, fit and finish, as you can expect, is absolutely top draw. There's uh, The brushwork is beautiful. The Delrin is lovely. You've still got that nice added grip on that Delrin there with the Atty Smith ingrained into the side. You know, um, there's no gaps. There's no burrs on the steel. There's, there's just, it's just, near damn perfect you know those small little switches that we got on the phantom that i really like they're there as well you know uh, usb on the front um custom made battery cap again with a beautiful but buttery smooth threading and a nice little uh, phantom uh, hellfire logo on the top as well so everything has been done and thought out really really well the carrier system on this is an absolute joy i mean it's really nice to have it just in there like so easily removed and uh, easily filled and uh, you know it's just absolutely piss easy you know to to use it as well so that's cool and if you've got a couple of them you can have a uh, different types of juice in them and just easily swap them over when and as you please and the tolerances on it the, the grooves on it the fact that you don't need to lock it the fact that there's nothing else to do apart from just push it in there and wait for it to click is really well thought out Groove cut out in a lovely place as well. No using your thumb to try and find it. No having to really retain any sort of difference on hand movement. It's just a quick, quick squonk, and uh, off you go. Now, I mean, it is quite big. It's a, a lot. It's a bit wider than the SVA Chimera. It's not as tall as a Chimera, but it's a bit wider. 
but it's not uncomfortably big either you know and uh you know i've seen a lot of people comment on its weight it is quite heavy with the stainless steel carrier on it but i mean quite heavy for who you know somebody you know i don't know some <laughs> maybe for a pigeon um but yeah it's uh quite heavy at 300 grams with the stainless steel carrier in there but if you've got the delving carrier in there it's it's as light as as anything really you know it's as light as a phantom so uh you know that's not a problem at all and its size is um deceivingly big on photos compared to what it is in your hand so don't mind that at all um just absolutely love the look of it um i loved the look of the phantom so of course i was going to be a fan of this everything custom built from the ground up as well so you know there's no third parties involved in this no one's using an sva catch cup on this it's all built in-house uh, uh, from the atty smith himself so that's really really nice and yeah beautiful to look at beautiful to use and just it's a hellfire product Now, price on these, they're not cheap, okay? And and uh, and why should they be? They're they're a quality product. They're they're built to perfection, um, and you know it reflects that in the price. Now, to buy one is a four hundred and fifty pounds, and that's before VAT. So you know if you're in the UK, you will have to put the VAT on top of that. That's going to bring you up just above five hundred pound, and then. Your carriers as well. It comes with a stainless steel carrier as standard, but if you want the Delrin, if you want to bring that weight down and to have that all sort of Delrin look, they're an extra £45 on top. So you're going to be pushing near to £600 to have the complete set. A lot of money, but you get what you pay for, of course. You also get one of the finest products brought out, and also, you know, you get the customer service with it as well. They're very, very uh, good with their customer service, which I can vouch for myself because I use them myself. So, you know, you, you do get what you pay for with it. A lot of money but it's a lot of product so you know now to get one you'd have to be a member of the hellfire group i will put a link in the description they do have a lot of lists go up there regular so it's not a i'm never going to be able to get one sort of situation with this mod um they are very uh, there are a lot of lists that are put up quite regular as well and for the carriers as well so you know i mean a lot of people can get their hands on one they like to pride themselves in the fact that if you haven't got one and you're a member of the group that they try and get people who haven't got them one of these into their hands so that is always good to see so yeah, I'll put the link in the description. If this is something that you are, are interested in, you've got the money to play with, then I would highly, highly recommend it. It's a beautiful device with a very, very unique system on it and works flawlessly. So there you have the Hellfire Shadow 304 grade stainless steel, um, 18650, the choice of a DNA 75 or die codes board on it. You know, custom made from the bottom to the ground up. That unique carrier system on it as well and with that beautiful sort of phantom look but with a squonking edge to it as well so highly highly recommend this so thank you very much for watching this review and i will see you on the next one stay safe